Happy spring, Pipers! Thanks for tuning in to the March Piper Report. As always, campus is buzzing. New Husk leaders have been selected, spring sports are in full swing, and new student orgs are blossoming. Now let's toss it off to the other Piper reporters to see what they discovered this March. Hi guys, this is Navida Krishnan, your graduate Piper reporter at the 1600 Utica Avenue South. The Hamblin campus away from campus. Come on, let's check it out. So we are located at the seventh floor. The MBA program students participate in a cohort where they start and finish the program together, develop bond, share knowledge and build network. Yeah, I think it's great having uh, the cohort Minneapolis and St. Paul. It gives you a variety of options as far as the classes that you want to go to. Good balance for having a full-time job, going to school full-time, raising your family as well. Um, it really brings a nice balance to everything. New cohort begins each fall, spring and summer. Students may enroll at Hamlin's St. Paul campus or the Minneapolis location. Students complete the Hamlin MBA in 24 months. Classes are held one night per week. The night remains consistent as you progress through the modules, with the exception of your elective courses. One of the greatest aspects that I have found to be an advantage of this cohort is the diversity and the different backgrounds that everyone uh, brings forth to the group. Jack Bryan here reporting for the Piper Report. Included in March was Spring Leadership Training, an annual training where Hamlin students get to learn how they can best be leaders here on campus and out in the world. I spoke to Wendy Burns to learn more. Spring Leadership Training Week is a week dedicated uh, to developing the leadership skills of all Hamlin students regardless of their level of leadership experience. So we offer programs and activities all week long and this year they all focus on strengths and strengths quest. And the strengths quest assessment helps you identify who you are and your areas of natural talent. Um, kind of how I would describe putting them all together is that I always look at the positive side of things and I kind of just want to be like, why don't you not love life? It's great. Like, love life. Um, I like to organize really cool events and I always like to make sure people are, are at the events and they feel like they're welcome to the lawn. But all of them play a very important factor into who I am. Empathy is your number one strength. How do you see yourself using that um, just in everyday life? Um, I see it in the connections that I make with others and uh, the relationships I can form with others and how I look at someone objectively but in a genuine and sincere way as well. I attended a Spring Leadership Training Week event and I learned my top five strengths. But really, how are knowing these going to help me? Not only will you know about yourself, but you'll also know in what ways you communicate, in what areas, in what atmospheres you are the most productive, and also how to interact with people a little bit better. Uh, we see leadership as being an important part of the Hamlin experience and developing your leadership skills being important to all Hamlin students. Hamlin University head football coach Chad Rogoszewski left the program in March and previous assistant coach Chip Taylor was named the new head coach. Taylor worked mostly with the defensive linemen during the 2015 season and is excited to work with the entire team. As a head football coach, you know, I was, I'm more responsible for the day-to-day the -day, um, workings of the whole program, where my job before I was just in charge of 45 guys controlling the defense. Now it's all 90 guys, offense, the defense, the kicking games. Taylor's passion for football started when he was a kid and paved the way for a football coaching career. I, I learned at an early age, actually when I broke my collarbone, I wasn't able to play one, one year in seventh grade and 
I, I took all the neighborhood kids and just kind of you know started running plays with them from the high school. So that's probably when I had a good idea that you know co coaching football would, would be in my future. Taylor played football through college for Illinois State. After college, Taylor held assistant coaching positions at Bucknell, Bella Parizzo, and Rose Holman. There's going to be a lot more detailed. I think things are going to be a lot more strict. And I think it's going to really help us like take the next step. I think he's got the respect still. I think he has the same amount of respect from the team that everyone else had for Rogo. Coach Rogoszewski did an outstanding job of getting this program right to where it needs to be. So we won't change too much. You know, The only thing I think we need to tighten up a little bit is just the discipline part of it. The Netflix documentary Making a Murderer has sparked a nationwide conversation about justice in America. The Hamlin University Center for Justice and Law held a panel discussion on the issues raised by the documentary. Unmaking a Murderer helps understanding the causes and examining the cures for wrongful convictions. The panel used examples from the film as the starting point to discuss the six common factors present in the most known cases of wrongful conviction. The biggest thing I learned from this conference was definitely the notion that only guilty people confess to crime is actually false and in fact people under certain circumstances won't confess to something that they didn't even commit just to relieve themselves of the anxiety of inter interrogation. Each panelist addressed possible policy changes that helped unravel wrongful convictions. Thanks again for tuning in to The Pipe Report. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click like down below and subscribe to Hamlin University's YouTube page. You can watch more Piper Reports, interviews, inside looks into programs, majors, and student life campus events. Still want to learn more about being a Piper? Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and follow us on Twitter at HamlinU. Tweet at us using the hashtag Pipe Report and tell us what you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching.